Round two, Bo Perik Tet, Mishnah Dalid, fourth Mishnah in the ninth chapter of Tubo. This Mishnah is short, but actually it deals with something that's really important, which is what the level of trust that a couple has to have within their house. So we're going to start this. Kahati actually pointed me to the Rambam. Hilchot Shutfin. Hilchot Shluchin Shutfin. Perik Tet. The Rambam says the following. Hashutfin. Okay, Kulam, all partners, Arisim, sharecroppers, Apitrapa. And Apitrapa is, a, is an appointee who's in charge of Shemiruatam Dim Ayatom, Beitin Ayatomi, who was appointed to be a trustee for the property of, of orphans. And a woman who does business within the household, or her husband made her the storekeeper for the, for the family store. Uben Habayit, uh, and one of the members of the family, all these people, nishba, they can be forced to take an oath, with the claim of safek, maybe his friend stole with, through business, maybe they weren't careful about the, about the accounting. So, if I have a shutaf, a partner in the business, or my wife who's doing business, who's running, doing the bills of the house, maybe they weren't careful. Rambam says, Why the Chacham established the Shavua? Because they, 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 they excuse themselves. Because they say, well, I, 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 I deserve it. You can understand this. Partners, they could say, you know, listen, I work harder, I deserve to take home the office supplies. Even though normally, when a person says, I'm not sure if you did anything, but I want you to swear, you don't have to swear. Here, ta'anat safek, the claim, a doubtful claim, uh, is ju- enough to justify a shvua. So that everyone will act with tzedek emuna. So in our context, isha okay, a woman who is doing business in the house, or Hoshiva Ba'ala Chenvani. It doesn't speak well of the trust in the home, as we'll soon see. The mission says, Hamoshivat Ishto Chenvanit. A person who Moshiv said his wife to be the Chenvanit, the storekeeper in the, in the, in the store, in the family store. Oshamina Apatrapa. Right? Ori appointed her. Apatrapa is a trustee. So he says, you're in charge, you do the bills. He can make her he can bring her to Beitin and make her take an oath anytime he wants. Rabbi Eliezer, Omer, Rabbi Eliezer says, Afilu al pilcha ve al isata. Rabbi Eliezer says, not, not, it's not only if he has her do the business in the house. Even in the house itself. Okay? Even on her pilcha. Her pilcha is her, I have a jastro bonus. Pilcha jastro jackpot. Spindle. Even her spindle. A husband may administer an oath to his wife on her distaff. On what she spins and weaves and on her dough. Meaning, if he says, listen, you know, how much you were supposed to spin, you know, I think you're supposed to spin uh, five whatever. Is that, you know, I think maybe you're pilfering and selling on the side. He can, even if he has only a suffix, if he's wondering, he can take her to Beitin and make her take an oath. Afilu lechatchila shaloya de gilgul. Even lechatchila. Yechol hashbiya al pilcha. Ve'en alacha kerabi aliezer. And the rabbanis say, no, only if she's a chenvanit. Only if she does business. Then he can do gilgul and say, oh yeah, by the way, also I think you're, you're cheating on the dough. Why? Really interesting phrase. Because the, the, the Chazal say, the Chachamim say, this is in the Gemara, the Chachamim say, okay, Rabbi Lezer says, Afilu al pilcha ve alisata. Lepiv, according to Rabbi Eliezer, this is a port of Dafyomi, it's a great site. Lepiv, here we are, Yachol lashbiya afa iske meshekabai. A husband can take his wife to Beitin and make her swear that she didn't use too much soap in the laundry detergent. So he said, Ein adam dar im nachash a person doesn't live with a snake in a cave. Meaning, okay, and the, the, the Rishami Gemara, the exact same thing says, Imata Omer King, Ein Shalom Betoch Beito. There's no Shalom Bayit, because if, you can, if he's always wondering, well, how much, you know, did you, did you take too much meat or whatever? Like, it's really not such a good thing for a relationship between a husband and a wife. You know, I'm not sure, though, if he makes her a chenvanit and she's running the, the, the family business, and then if he doesn't trust her at all, why did he make the storekeeper either? I don't really know. All right, we'll stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Harav Simcha Kalman. Have a good day.